Hello everyone, it's Rachel again at the Forest Garden. I'm here with watering duty, but I'm also going to collect a few tadpoles while I'm here. I'm going to take them home, hopefully rear them into froglets. This is our main pond at the garden. It's absolutely full of smooth newts. See, it's a raised pond. So, we do get frogs spawn in it every year. We actually take little bits out uh, to save them, otherwise they basically all just be eaten in a few weeks. This is one of the bath ponds that we pop the frog spawn into for safekeeping. Super green and sludgy. So we've had barely any rain for over a month, which is so odd. This is very, very dry spring. Little tadpoles! Dinner time! Hello! So we've got four tadpoles in there and lots of these tiny Daphnia or water fleas. It's actually good tadpole food. Let's get these guys home. So we've got a USB microscope set up here. So our smallest tadpole. So I've brought these little tadpoles inside just to take a closer look down the microscope because it's interesting. And uh, if we look really closely up on this one, you see a gentle pumping action on the side of the face. And that's the gills pumping in water through the nostrils. You can just see it going in through there. So this is my aquascape. I've got it set up in the kitchen. It's basically just a tank full of pond plants. And I've got some native plants in here. I've got things like frog bit, hornwort, and even some water mint. And uh, this will do as a temporary home for, for our tadpoles while we watch them develop. Look at that bright red patch. I don't know if it's oxygenated blood around the gills or maybe in the heart. Of course, we've got other things living in the tank too, such as these little water fleas or Daphnia. And then, I'm not really sure what this is. It could be a beetle larva or a caddisfly larva, maybe. And then there's freshwater shrimp or a gammarid. At the moment the tadpoles are vegetarian, but they will switch to a carnivorous diet as they get bigger. But of course, there are other carnivores which live in ponds. are no diving beetle larvae in this tank. This tank is a tadpole utopia. I'll give you an update in a few weeks time on how they're getting on. <laughs> 